All right, it's been a while since I've done a video, and uh, I got a new camera today, so uh, I guess I kind of need to make it worth it now. So we're gonna assess the damage on the hard body. Yep. So what you guys missed uh, since the last video was I put my hood vent on. Uh, my hood pins were also installed. And uh, your boy forgot to put the hood pins in. So yeah, that's uh, kind of where we're at. It ripped all the way through the firewall, which is awesome. Um, that hinge is just fucked beyond repair. Um, that one actually doesn't look horrible. I mean, it's bent, yeah, and it you know it messed up my. Uh, my firewall a little bit but not horrible um, as far as the hood itself goes I don't think it's actually that bad um, it creased a little bit over on there on that side so I think this is actually the worst of it bent down a little bit um, Shout out to this eBay company that I bought this fucking vent from because um, I lost some rivets. Um, you can see clearly where it hit something up there, probably my roof. Um, I don't see any cracks in this thing at all. Nothing's, uh, none of them are cracked or anything, so that's cool. I mean, like I said, it popped one, two, three rivets out. And then I guess almost four. Yeah, that one might as well be been popped out. Um, so yeah. I uh, was going on a rip in this thing about a month ago. And uh, yeah, just forgot to put the hood pins in. Alright, so my wiper cowl is pretty fucked. Um, you can clearly see this thing is not straight anymore. The good thing is my vents are good, both of them. So, it is pretty disappointing that I did something stupid like that. However, um, learning experience. I need to remember to put my hood pins in. So, I actually remember what happened. Um, it went from, uh, I was just backing the truck out of the garage to put it in the uh, in the street here to, uh, I'm just going to go down to the mailbox, which is, um, I don't know, 25 yards down the road. And then, uh, got down there and then I was like, you know what? It's pretty nice weather out right now. Let's go do some shitties. So, uh, went, did some, um, gray area legality things. And, um, actually all was fine up until, uh, I was on the way back home and I was in the top of third gear and, uh, shit hit the fan. So, yep, that's what's up with that. Um, really just wanted to do a quick video assessing the damage. Cause I'll be honest, uh, hood flew up. I, uh, stuck my head out the window. I drove the last like 16th of a mile home. Um, I was literally right around the corner from my house when it flew up. I was like just starting to to break 
um, when the hood flew up. So, yep, that's it's awesome. Um, yeah, <sighs> sucks, shitty man. But um, you know, all's all's good. Uh, I'm just glad that the fiberglass uh, hood vent didn't crack. Um, I actually thought I was gonna be able to save the hood um, because it looked initially like it was just that little crease that was bent but I'm actually looking at this angle now and it looks like further towards the front there's a little crease I'll actually show you yeah that crease right there yep that's a good one right there so I think this hood is uh, beyond saving um, it also looks a little weird like it goes down and then back up um, yeah, initially I thought it was just this, and I was just going to bend that up, get a new uh, cowl for it, put my vents, my cowl vents back on, and put this vent back on, and then send it, but I think I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, get a new hood, and then, you know, put that vent on. Yep, so that's where I've been at. Uh, kind of shitty. I'm going to have to get a new windshield as well. Surprisingly, the roof is cool. Like, there's like the tiniest little dent. Not even a, it's like a ding more than a dent. Um, at, on the roof, not fucking worried about that. Um, I need to get a new hood, um, new hinges, new cowl, new windshield, and I think everything will be good again. Um, I do have corner lights now. I actually ordered some clear corner lights, um, from Thailand, of course. That's where all the cool clear stuff comes from. Um, I don't know if you guys saw... I did end up doing some side skirts. I'll show you that real quick while we're out here. So yeah, got uh, the Lowe's side skirts on there. Didn't come out too bad. Trick has a nice little stance to it. I think it looks good now. I got the bed back on, got the little side skirts. I kind of had, you know, front end looking pretty cool with the uh, a D-Max style vent and whatnot, but, oh man, that's, that's kind of depressing. Anyway, I'm going to call for now. Just wanted to do a quick video assessing the damage because I haven't uh, looked at this thing since the hood flew up. I basically just pushed the hood back down, pushed it in the garage, and forgot about it. Um, seems to be uh, what, I, what I do every time I run into a major problem with this thing. I push it back in the garage, don't touch it for a month or two, um, come back to it, and then usually I uh, get cracking back into it pretty good. So... Um, I guess stick around. Um, probably be doing a junkyard run here soon, so I'll probably try to vlog that. Um, stay tuned. What is that?